So there guys, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Um, someone's getting a phone call over there at the bus stop. We are going into this big ass building today. The What I'm assuming is where the prince lives, Prince Lacroix. Um, if it isn't that, I'll be surprised. <laughs> uh, what else do we need to do? We're going to have to poke around that little door we found near the hotel. I want to check that out. Unless this guy gives us some specific shit to do. Wow, yeah, this is definitely uh, his place then. Man, ostentatious. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. I love it. Fucking marble. Marble's cool. I like marble. I can deal with marble. Uh, hey there, bud. You look familiar. Man, this guy's a really quiet voice. Yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? I don't know what came over me back there, but oh. now I got this sweet night shift position, and I'm happier than the time I met Superwoods. <laughs> ah, well, uh, enough about my lucky break. You uh, here to see one of the big wigs, Chief? Yeah, this was the guy that was guarding the museum then. How interesting. Yeah, I'm here Would to see Lacroix. Sebastian Lacroix of the Lacroix Foundation, or Dwayne Lacroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, Insurrection. Baby Formula Company. <laughs> uh, what do you think, genius? No, it's Sebastian Lacroix. Uh, okay then, Mr. Lacroix. He told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. I will do that. Thanks. Uh, have a good one. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. Officer Chunk. That's me. In case you were wondering. Amazing. Thanks, Chunk. Smell you later, buddy. Um, let's have a good look around, shall we? I'm in that. Okay. I don't think any of these doors are going to be openable, are they? But you never know. Man, this place is cool. Oh, hey. Security. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, 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 I can't get in there. There's no way I'm going to be able to pick that lock. I'm not even going to bother trying. <laughs> uh, oh, my God, that's a bit weird. What? Was that flat? Or is it... I think it is flat. It's just a really... Yeah. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. I quite like that, actually. Oh, hello. The lift is open. I guess I'm expected then. <laughs> uh, penthouse, please. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Let's have a quick look around. Okay, various religious paintings. Do you recognize any of these? Hmm. The fuck is that? I don't know what any of these are. That one. Isn't that like a guy that went mad and something, someone killed him? That, that looks vaguely familiar. I can't remember, but it looks like it might be something. Why have they just got empty cabinets? So if you're going to have two grand cabinets, put something in them. And why would you have two chairs back to back like this? This guy needs a fucking designer. Jesus. This place is really, really crap. And that's an awful painting. Okay. Well, it's a big, empty fucking room, LaCroix. I suppose you're trying to make me feel small or something. What's this? Hey, mate, what's this? Can I speak to your big guy? No. He's really not interested in me at all, is he? He's a fucking weird one. Okay, I've done investigating. Sorry, I was I was having a look around your wonderful house. There you are. Yes. I was informed of your presence here. Here I building. am. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes. Most excellent. <laughs> I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Um, 
No, I'm not. I can't blame Mercurio. Uh, the Santa Monica Kings were a little two faced. Ha ha ha. That's quite funny. Uh, no, it was fine. That is the answer I like to hear. I thought it well, might be. Circumstances being what they were, I will admit not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. Okay. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. Really? It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Um. Oh, God. The thing is. Uh, uh, okay, we're going to suck up to this guy for a little bit. Okay, we're wary of him. We know what he's up to, but we're going to suck up to him. I'd say yes, sir. Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumours spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? No. No, I haven't. The Dane was found out at sea. The reports say it was without crew, okay. but they have yet to report a fate of said crew. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Okay. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. I see. I see. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. Okay. I sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Hmm. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. Okay. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So, be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Okay. Is this understood? Yes, sir. Uh... Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. Oh, dear. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Um... Some nonsense about the annex, I didn't listen very carefully. That's kind of right, I guess. Yeah, okay. If I may give you a piece of advice, always listen to <sighs> others' words carefully. Read between the lines, gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, the greater your advantage. Now that okay. that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Uh, yes, if I can ask some I questions. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. I just, you know, maybe... Yes. Okay. It's common knowledge. So let's get some background. I was over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From okay. that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. Huh. Interesting. Well, we know he's a Ventru. And it's rude to ask somebody what clan they are anyway. Is... So we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, anything else about All the Ankaran sarcophagus? The Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. 
There could be nothing but dust inside. Uh. However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact. Or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Right. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Okay. Wow. Uh, they don't believe in the antediluvians. Fair enough. Um, yes. Beckett's. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. Okay. Yes. Uh, Jack? Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge. The physical manifestation of chaos. <laughs> Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time I like Jack. before a collapse <laughs> to his latest lark. Okay. Yes. Uh, the dude. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Fair dues. Um... Guess that's all I have. Fuck it. Oh, I'm supposed to. I can't stress the urgency. Yes, of this sorry, I accidentally move. left the conversation. I'm ready to go. Uh, boom. Good. I'm counting on an position <sighs> of the talent you showed earlier. Okay. Go and remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. <laughs> we'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in San Oh, Monica. why do you say those things? And now I have to open it and look inside it. Bad man. Uh, can I spend any points before we go? Uh, where's my sneaky sneaky? As soon as that we can't fight our way through this. Dex and stealth. We can't afford decks, but we can afford a stealth point, and I feel like that's probably a good idea. Right. Are we back downstairs? We are back downstairs. See that Chuck? Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Yeah, yeah I've seen him, mate. What we got on good old camera three. Oh, well, hello there. What? I've been what you thinking got? about you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. And then make my way down to your creamy center and... <gasps> Get your hands off my Bavarian cream! Dude, it's an empty corridor. It's literally showing you just round the corner. I could switch it off, which is really weird. Um, I probably shouldn't, because I'd bet that that's going to probably do something bad, but that is strange. I wonder what happens. Um, what am I doing? Let's save my game. And then we're going to go check out this thing. So the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Um... Weird. He's sort of really making out like he definitely doesn't have an answer to Luvian inside and that we're not meant to look in there. <coughs> um, I think it's also probably unlikely that it has an answer to Luvian inside, but you never know. Do we need to go back to Santa Monica? I think we do, don't we? Did he say go back to Santa Monica? Oh man, I wish we'd listened to him. I'm sure we did. Uh, we've got key to lucky start. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just drive. Um, take me to Santa Monica. And then I guess we go to the pier, but I might swing by the lucky star first and just see what's going on. I also want to um, go to uh, the bounty hunter guy and just let him know about his boyo. So we're going to do that as well. I can't remember what his name is. Kilpatrick. Arthur Kilpatrick. That was him. We'll head in here, let him know about the dead guy. Head to the Lucky Star. See what's in there. Hello. Hey there. 
Need some specific like or uh, just here to shoot the breeze? I uh can I bounce a few questions yeah? off you. What do you want to know? Oh. Maybe I have to go check the apartment first then. Are you See, it feels like there's more pizza in here than there was last time, Arthur. Use the end discipline's key to shoot off a discipline while it is running. Ah. Fascinating. Okay, let's shoot over to the Lucky Star Hotels. Uh, we can probably just run straight down here past the nightclub and hope none of the music bleeds through. So that door that we couldn't open, the computer place, I'm wondering if we can find like a key or code to that somewhere else, which would be fucking brilliant if we can. That's the Santa Monica Suites. Where are the Lucky Star Apartments? Was it where we lived? Was that the Lucky Star Apartments? Is this it? Hmm. We'll soon find out. I don't remember there being any other apartments here. Uh, can I view the key? Does it say anything on it? Lucky just says Lucky Star Room Key. We been in this one? There's nothing on the answer machine. What the fuck? Feed attempt failed. I didn't even, I didn't even push anything about feeding. Um, that's the only one we can't get into. That's weird then. So it's not this place. So where the hell is the is the lucky the lucky star? Let's go have a look at a map. Where's the fucking map? Bus stop. Lucky Star Apartments. I don't even see Lucky Star Apartments. Maybe they're not here. Maybe they're somewhere else. How strange. Where's my log? Maybe it's in Hollywood. That would explain the star connection. Um, go to the beach in Santa Monica. That's okay. Um, Jezebel Lock is at the Empire Rams. We need to get into her room somehow. You found a key to the Lucky Star Motel. And it's treated, listed as a Santa Monica quest, but that doesn't tell us anything. <sighs> Lucky Star Motel. And there's definitely no motels on here. I don't even pay. Devil's Brand to make a clinic. More coffee. No. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. I don't think there was anything else we were doing on this side of things. I don't think there's any more clues we can get from the pier unless they've opened any of it up. We could have a look and see if there's, um, you know, if the police have finished their investigations, if there's a way through for us to look at the things in further detail. I don't, know, I don't know what the whole fucking thing on the pier. Okay, this is obviously the guy we need to talk to. Is that still fenced off up there? I'm gonna go check it out quickly. I'm gonna go have a quick look, check it out. I mean, the weird thing is, this is not a masquerade zone. So ultimately, we could just kill the cops and uh, <laughs> get in there somehow. 
If we had a gun, if we only had a gun. It's still blocked off, but there's no popo here. There's no way through down there. Can I unlock this at all? No. It's definitely locked and un unlock pickable. Hmm. Can I, I can't jump onto this railing. You'd think, being a vampire, I could get over this like a piece of piss. And yet I am trapped by a simple bit of metal. Are you open yet? No. This is the fortune teller place. Okay, fine, whatevs. I can't jump over there, it's too high. I was trying to take a quick way down. I can't, there's just, you literally can't jump over the barriers. It's not even a height thing. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to the fucking boat then. I can actually jump over that, that's nice. Hello, boatman. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I did not preserve I your ass, that's a lie. I'm not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. Okay. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Okay, Mercurio, I will do that. Um, you look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. <laughs> this back alley patch fixed up the rest. Okay. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Um, I need some info. Concerning People. Exactly? Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Until the astrolite wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Okay. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Okay, what about... Who exactly? Uh... He's already told us about Prince Lacroix. Oh. Anything I can do for you tonight? Yes, you can. Concerning? Uh, places. Specifically? Downtown. Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines is people, Lacroix's people, a lot of tension in the air. Yeah. Drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Okay. Anything I can do for you tonight? Uh, how do I get? Uh, some equipment. Oh, he sells equipment. It's just a gun, which I don't need because I'm not supposed to be killing anybody anyway. Okay, fine. Uh, where's the boat? Is this my boat? How do I get in my boat? Just jump in it. Wow. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Holy shit. We're here. We're on a fucking boat. Oh my god, so I take it this is like a fucking stealth section now. In a game with barely any stealth mechanics. You know this game is actually run on like a really modified version of the Source Engine. Which probably explains why it's so shit. Um, is this guy going to notice me? Will he be mad? I don't know. Should I eat him? Probably not. Gangway B, Gangway A. I'm going to assume that I'm not allowed to be here and creep around for a bit. There's a load of blood over here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that's not okay. Oh my god. Hmm. Question is how far do I want to go? Hmm. 
I mean, it's pretty spooky down here already. There's a lot of blood. Is that a door? That's a locked door. Sounds like a job for Lockpick Magoo. Okay. Where the fuck am I even going? I think there was a guy outside that door. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Guess there's a guy using a computer. I probably do need to use that computer, don't I? That door I can't open. Right, okay, so I probably need to do something here. Because I'm assuming the shipping manifest is on that computer. If I feed on him, will he stay stunned? Can I just take him down? Oh, fuck. Uh, I think we've been rumbled. We might have to reload. Is that like, is it a perma stealth or does everyone on the ship now know that I'm here and exactly in this spot? The music would imply so. <sighs> Should I reload? Where was our last save? Right as we got onto the boat. Okay, fuck it. No, we'll carry on then. We will assume that it's fine. Uh, reports. Uh, weather. Okay. <laughs> Status. Engines off, deck cams off, locks locked. Okay, so we want to unlock the locks. Lighthouse. <laughs> Easy. Uh, da, 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 da. Unlock doors. Do I want to start the engines or sound the horn? That seems like a stupid thing to do. I'm going to quit. Okay, right. Well, we've unlocked all the doors, so maybe that will make life easier. Who knows? I'm going to make a save. Uh, we'll save over the panic save so we can keep this like entry save in case I have fucked up by being spotted. Because who knows? Some some games do that. Um, and if we're going to be like totally fucked for the rest of the mission, I'd rather just restart from there, I think. Uh, right, so that's where I'm going to leave it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>